having a radio station, I thought, would be able to reach the community 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it'd be like evangelism all the time. This is Western Canada. It's winter and blankets of snow cover rolling fields that climb into tree-lined mountains. The majesty and splendor of this incredible beauty reflect the power of our loving Father who provides us with such beautiful scenes. Located in the middle of this scenic landscape is the town of Cranbrook. It's here that the Tam family live. They live a simple but happy life. They're active in their small local church. Elliot, his wife Heather, and their two children, Mariah and Caleb, moved to Cranbrook three years ago and felt that they needed to reach out to their local community. Elliot felt impressed to start a local Christian radio station. Canadian law makes it difficult to broadcast religious programming over the radio waves, but Elliot felt impressed by God to keep pursuing his dream. He then found out about VOAR, Voice of Adventist Radio, a small radio station in St. John's, Newfoundland. I talked to uh, Sherry, who was the uh, VOAR manager, and asked her, well, has anything been done? For example, to get your signal into BC. She said her uh, broadcast has only been in Newfoundland for many, many years. It has not been outside of Newfoundland. VOAR was started in the 1920s, and for the past 80 years has been a lone voice to the cold wilds of Canada's far eastern provinces. St. John's is rich in radio broadcast history. It was here in 1901 that radio pioneer Marconi received the first transatlantic radio broadcast at Signal Hill, just outside town. Sherry Griffin has worked at VOAR for more than 10 years and serves as its station manager. Okay. Hope you're having a good one and feel like the best in the harbor and will stay with us for Point of Grace. So we put a friendly face onto what the Adventist Church is all about, where we try and make it as approachable as possible for folks to uh, come ask questions. If they have questions about what exactly an Adventist is, who they are, what we stand for. Elliot and his family prayed for guidance, and soon he found his answer to their prayers on the internet when he came across the name of the regional head of the Canadian Radio Television Telecommunication Commission. So I called him and had a chat with him and I uh, told him what we wanted to do. He said, okay, well, let me get back to you. And the next day he said, yeah, you can do it this way without CRTC license if you follow these rules. And I said, oh, well, praise God. And at that point, it seemed like a, a door wide open for us to move forward. The staff of VOAR now have the opportunity to make an impact not only in Newfoundland, but throughout most of Canada. By using low-cost repeaters, which will be funded by a portion of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering, millions of people will now be reached because one member dared to follow his dream. Just as those early radio waves spread across the Atlantic Ocean to the far eastern shores of Canada, now those same waves will spread the message of a new life in Jesus in a westernly direction as the VOAR signal will be broadcast to the far reaches of this northern country. British Columbia has a number of sites running and many more in process. Uh, Alberta is in process of of uh, having several new stations on and right across the country. Ontario has put in applications, uh, the Maritimes and so on. And so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a, a situation where what began as a very small uh, thing has now mushroomed and become a major uh, force for us right from coast to coast in Canada. It's quite unique how the Lord has blessed in that. It's hard to imagine how a radio station staffed by only three full-time people and a handful of volunteers can make such a big impact. But church leaders all across Canada know of the outreach that is possible through VOAR. And we're playing your favorites with the phone lines open until 2 o'clock this afternoon. Only four radio stations in my community. And right now, one of them is Christian Radio, Voice of Adventist Radio. It's amazing, for the first time, Christian Radio in the province of British Columbia. And then also in British Columbia, as well as the rest of Canada, the area is so diverse. We have a geography here that's almost one half the size of the United States of America. And unless we use media and radio, I have no idea how people would hear the good news. It's a privilege for us to have Christian Radio here. And the fact that VOAR can spread now out to the other provinces that do not have Christian Radio, do not have the opportunity of hearing this incredible message, uh, is just amazing to me. So here you see the setup, the simple setup that's required to have 
a VOA rebroadcast. It involves, it includes an antenna up on a pole, a Bell Express View dish, and a few uh, amplifiers inside the shed. So your 13th Sabbath offering will go towards helping small towns across Canada have a similar setup so people across Canada can hear VOAR and turn their hearts to Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for your support of the 13th Sabbath offering. Your generous offerings and gifts of love have reached countless lives through the years. Just imagine how many more lives can be touched and changed with your support. Thank you for your prayers and support of mission through the years.